The history of the Jews in India reaches back to ancient times. Indian Jews are a religious minority of India, but unlike many parts of the world, have historically lived in India without any instances of antisemitism from the local majority populace. The better established ancient communities have assimilated a large number of local traditions through cultural diffusion. While some Jews state their ancestors arrived in India during the time of the Kingdom of Judah, others identify themselves as descendants of Israel's ten lost tribes. It is estimated that India's Jewish population peaked at around 20,000 in the mid-1940s, and began to rapidly decline due to their emigration to Israel after its creation in 1948. <inaudible> <inaudible> Jewish groups in India In addition to Jewish expatriates and recent immigrants, there are seven Jewish groups in India. The dark-skinned Malabar component of the Cochin Jews, according to Shalva Weil, claim to have arrived in India together with the Hebrew King Solomon's merchants. The Cochin Jews settled down in Kerala as traders. The fair complexion component is of European or Ashkenazi Jewish descent. Chennai Jews, the so-called Spanish and Portuguese Jews, Paradisi Jews and British Jews arrived at Madras during the 16th century. They were diamond businesspeople and of Sephardi heritage. Following expulsion from Iberia in 1492 by the Alhambra Decree, a few families of Sephardic Jews eventually made their way to Madras in the 16th century. They maintained trade connections to Europe, and their language skills were useful. Although the Sephardim spoke Ladino i.e. Spanish or Judeo-Spanish, in India they learned Tamil and Judeo-Malayalam from the Malabar Jews. Nagarkoil Jews, the so-called Syrian Jews, Mastarabi Jews were Arab Jews who arrived at Nagarkoil and Kanyakumari district in 52 AD along with the arrival of St. Thomas. Most of them were merchants and had also settled around the town of Thiruvathamkod. By the turn of the 20th century, most of the families made their way to Cochin and eventually migrated to Israel. In their early days, they maintained trade connections to Europe through the nearby ports of Kalachal and Thangaipatanam, and their language skills were useful to the Travancore kings. As historians Rev. Daniel Tyerman and George cited the reason the Jews selecting Nagarkoil as their settlement was for the town's salubrious climate and its significant Christian population. The Jews of Goa, these were Portuguese Jews who fled to Portuguese Goa after the commencement of the Inquisition in Portugal. The community consisted mainly of new Christians, who were Jews by blood and had converted under the duress of the Inquisition. This group was the target of heavy persecution with the start of the Gone Inquisition, which put on trial famed physician Garcia de Orta, among others. Another branch of the Bene Israel community resided in Karachi until the partition of India in 1947, when they fled to India, in particular, to Mumbai. Many of them also moved to Israel. The Jews from the Sindh, Punjab and Pathan areas are often incorrectly called Bani Israel Jews. The Jewish community who used to reside in other parts of what became Pakistan such as Lahore or Peshawar also fled to India in 1947, in a similar manner to the larger Karachi Jewish community. The Baghdadi Jews arrived in the city of Surat from Iraq and other Arab states, Iran and Afghanistan about 250 years ago. The Bene Manash meaning, sons of Manasseh, in Hebrew, are Mizo and Kuki tribesmen in Manipur and Mizoram who are recent converts to the modern form of Judaism but claim ancestry reaching back to one of the lost ten tribes of Israel, specifically, one of the sons of Joseph. Similarly, the small Telugu-speaking group, the Bene Ephraim meaning sons of Ephraim in Hebrew also claim ancestry from Ephraim, one of the sons of Joseph and a lost tribe of ancient Israel. Also called Telugu Jews, their observance of modern Judaism dates to 1981. <laughs> Cochin Jews The oldest of the Indian Jewish communities is in Cochin. The traditional account is that traders of Judea arrived in the city of Cochin, Kerala, in 562 BCE, and that more Jews came as exiles from Israel in the year 70 CE, after the destruction of the Second Temple. Many of these Jews' ancestors passed on the account that they settled in India when the Hebrew King Solomon was in power. This was a time that teak wood, ivory, spices, monkeys and peacocks were popular in trade in Cochin. There is no specific date or reason mentioned as to why they arrived in India but Hebrew scholars date it to up to around the early Middle Ages. 
Cochin is a group of small tropical islands filled with markets and many different cultures such as Dutch, Hindu, Jewish, Portuguese, and British. The distinct Jewish community was called Anjuvanum. The still functioning synagogue in Matancheri belongs to the Paradisi Jews, the descendants of Sephardim that were expelled from Spain in 1492. Although the Jewish community in Matancheri adjacent to Fort Cochin had only six remaining members as of 2015, central to the history of the Cochin Jews is their close relationship with Indian rulers, and this was eventually codified on a set of copper plates granting the community special privileges. The date of these plates, known as Sasanum, is contentious. The plates themselves provide a date of 379 CE, but in 1925 tradition was setting it as 1069 CE. Joseph Rabin by Basker Aravi Varma, the fourth ruler of Malaban, granted the copper plates to the Jews. The plates were inscribed with a message stating that the village of Anjuvanam belonged to the Jews and that they were the rightful lords of Anjuvanam and it should remain theirs and be passed on to their Jewish descendants, so long as the world and moon exist. This is the earliest document that shows that the Jews were living in India permanently. It is stored in Cochin's main synagogue. The Jews settled in Kodingalor on the Malabar coast, where they traded peacefully, until 1524. The Jewish leader Rabin was granted the rank of prince over the Jews of Cochin, given the rulership and tax revenue of a pocket principality in Anjuvanam, near Kranganor, and rights to 72 free houses. The Hindu king gave permission in perpetuity or, in the more poetic expression of those days, as long as the world and moon exist, for Jews to live freely, build synagogues, and own property, without conditions attached. A link back to Rabban, the king of Shingali, another name for Kranganor, was a sign of both purity and prestige. Rabin's descendants maintained this distinct community until a chieftainship dispute broke out between two brothers, one of them named Joseph Azar, in the 16th century. The Jews lived peacefully for over a thousand years in Anjuvanam. After the reign of the Rabins, the Jewish people no longer had the protection of the copper plates. Neighboring princes of Anjuvanam intervened and revoked all privileges that the Jewish people were given. In 1524, the Jews were attacked by the Moors Brothers Muslim community on a suspicion that they were messing with the pepper trade and the homes and synagogues belonging to them were destroyed. The damage was so extensive that when the Portuguese arrived a few years later, only a small amount of impoverished Jews remained. They remained there for 40 more years only to return to their land of Cochin, in Mala, Thrissur district. The Malabar Jews have a synagogue and a cemetery, as well as in Chenamangalam, Pur and Ernakulam. There are at least seven existing synagogues in Kerala, although not serving their original purpose anymore. <inaudible> Madras Jews Jews also settled in Madras now Chennai, soon after its founding in 1640. Most of them were coral merchants from Leghorn, the Caribbean, London, and Amsterdam who were of Portuguese origin and belonged to the Enriques de Castro, Franco, Pava or Porto families. Jacques Jaime de Pava Pavia, originally from Amsterdam, was an early Jewish arrival and a leader of the community. He established good relations with those in power and bought several mines. Through his efforts, Jews were permitted to live within Fort St. George. De Pava died in 1687 after a visit to his mines and was buried in the Jewish cemetery he had established in Pedanikenpet, which later became the North Mint Street. In 1670, the Portuguese population in Madras numbered around 3,000. Before his death, he established the colony of Jewish traders of Madraspatam with Antonio do Porto, Pedro Pereira, and Fernando Mendes Enriques. This enabled more Portuguese Jews, from Leghorn, the Caribbean, London and Amsterdam, to settle in Madras. Coral Merchant Street was named after the Jews' business. Three Portuguese Jews were nominated to be aldermen of Madras Corporation. Three, Bartolomeo Rodriguez, Domingo do Porto and Alvaro da Fonseca, also founded the largest trading house in Madras. The large tomb of Rodriguez, who died in Madras in 1692, became a landmark in Pedanikenpet but was later destroyed. Samuel de Castro came to Madras from Curaçao and Solomon Franco came from Leghorn. In 1688, there were three Jewish representatives in the Madras Corporation. Most Jewish settlers resided in the Coral Merchant Street in Muthialpet. They also had a cemetery, called Jewish Cemetery Chennai in the neighboring Pedanikenpet. Bene Israel 
Foreign notices of the Bene Israel go back at least to 1768, when Yeshekel Rahabi wrote to a Dutch trading partner that they were widespread in Maharada province, and observed two Jewish observances, recital of the Shema and observation of Shabbat rest. They claim that they descend from 14 Jewish men and women, equally divided by gender, who survived the shipwreck of refugees from persecution or political turmoil, and came ashore at Navagayan near Alibog, 20 miles south of Mumbai, some 17 to 19 centuries ago. They were instructed in the rudiments of normative Judaism by Cochin Jews. Their Jewishness is controversial, and initially was not accepted by the rabbinate in Israel. Since 1964 however they intermarried throughout Israel and are now considered Israeli and Jewish in all respects, they are divided into sub-castes which do not intermarry, the dark-skinned Kara and fair-skinned Gora. The latter are believed to be lineal descendants of the shipwreck survivors, while the former are considered to descend from concubinage of a male with local women. They were nicknamed the Shanivarteli, Saturday oil pressers, by the local population as they abstained from work on Saturdays. Bene Israel communities and synagogues are situated in Penn, Mumbai, Alibog, Pune and Ahmedabad with smaller communities scattered around India. The largest synagogue in Asia outside Israel is in Pune Ohel David Synagogue. Mumbai had a thriving Bene Israel community until the 1950s to 1960s when many families from the community emigrated to the fledgling state of Israel, where they are known as Hodium Indians. The Bene Israel community has risen to many positions of prominence in Israel. In India itself the Bene Israel community has shrunk considerably with many of the old synagogues falling into disuse. Unlike many parts of the world, Jews have historically lived in India without any instances of antisemitism from the local majority populace, the Hindus. However, Jews were persecuted by the Portuguese during their control of Goa. Topic Bombay, Mumbai topic South Asian Jews and Baghdadi Jews The first known Baghdadi Jewish immigrant to India, Joseph Sema, arrived in the port city of Surat in 1730. He and other early immigrants established a synagogue and cemetery in Surat, though most of the city's Jewish community eventually moved to Bombay, Mumbai, where they established a new synagogue and cemetery. They were traders and quickly became one of the most prosperous communities in the city. As philanthropists, some donated their wealth for public building projects. The Sassoon Docks and David Sassoon Library are some of the famous landmarks still standing today. The synagogue in Surat was eventually razed. The cemetery, though in poor condition, can still be seen on the Katarjam Amrali Road. One of the graves within is that of Mosa Tobi, buried in 1769, who was described as Ha Nasi Ha Zakan the Elder Prince by David Solomon Sassoon in his book A History of the Jews in Baghdad Simon Wallenberg Press, 2006, ISBN 1843560002X. Baghdadi Jewish populations spread beyond Bombay to other parts of India, with an important community forming in Calcutta Kolkata. Scions of this community did well in trade particularly jute and tea, and in later years contributed officers to the army. One, Lt. Gen. Jfr. Jacob Pvsm, became state governor of Goa 1998-99, then Punjab, and later served as administrator of Chandigarh. Pramila Esther Victoria Abraham became the first ever Miss India, in 1947. Bene Manash The Bene Manash are a group of more than 9,000 people from the northeastern Indian states of Mizoram and Manipur who practice a form of biblical Judaism and claim descent from one of the lost tribes of Israel. Many were converted to Christianity and were originally headhunters and animists at the beginning of the 20th century, but began converting to Judaism in the 1970s. Topic Bene Ephraim The Bene Ephraim are a small group of Telugu-speaking Jews in eastern Andhra Pradesh whose recorded observance of Judaism, like that of the Bene Manash, is quite recent, dating only to 1991. There are a few families in Andhra Pradesh who follow Judaism. Many among them follow the customs of Orthodox Jews like long side locks in male hair and using head coverings all the time. Topic Delhi Jewry Judaism in Delhi is primarily focused on the expatriate community who work in Delhi, as well as Israeli diplomats and a small local community. In Pahurganj, Chabad has set up a synagogue and religious center in a backpacker area regularly visited by Israeli tourists. Topic today The majority of Indian Jews have made Aliyah migrated to Israel since the creation of the modern state in 1948. Over 70,000 Indian Jews now live in Israel over 1% of Israel's total population. 
Of the remaining 5,000, the largest community is concentrated in Mumbai, where 3,500 have stayed over from the over 30,000 Jews registered there in the 1940s, divided into Bene Israel and Baghdadi Jews, though the Baghdadi Jews refused to recognize the Bene Israel as Jews, and withheld dispensing charity to them for that reason. There are reminders of Jewish localities in Kerala still left such as synagogues. The majority of Jews from the old British Indian capital of Calcutta Kolkata have also migrated to Israel over the last six decades. Notable Jews of Indian descent Eli Ben Menachem, Israeli politician Jacqueline Baba, lecturer at Harvard Law School and Harvard Kennedy School of Government Ranjit Chaudhry, Bollywood actor David Abraham Chulkar, Bollywood actor Reuben David 1912 zoologist Esther David March 17, 1945. Jewish Indian author, an artist and a sculptor Nadira, Bollywood actress Karen David, British-Canadian actress Nisim Ezekiel, poet, playwright, editor and art critic Lieutenant General J. F. R. Jacob, former Chief of Staff of the Indian Army's Eastern Command, and former Governor of Punjab and Goa Jerry Judah, artist and designer Ellis Kadori and Ellie Kadori, philanthropists Horace Kadori, philanthropist Anish Kapoor, sculptor Samson Kahimkar, musician Ezekiel Isaac Malekar, Bene Israel Rabbi Ruby Myers, Bollywood actress of the 1920s known as Sulachana Pearl Padamsi, theater personality Joseph Rabin, was given copper plates of special grants from the Shara ruler Baskara Ravivarman II from Kerala David and Simon Rubin, businessmen Abraham Barak Salem, Cochin Jewish Indian nationalist leader Lalchanhima Salo, rabbi and founder of Chinling Israel People's Convention David Sassoon, businessman Albert Abdullah David Sassoon, British Indian merchant Sassoon David Sassoon, philanthropist and benefactor of Greater Indian Jewish Community Solomon Safar, Jewish community leader in Mumbai Bensian Songapkar, professional cricketer Esther Victoria Abraham, also known as Pramila, first Miss India Fleur Ezekiel, Bene Israel model, chosen as Miss World in 1959 Sheila Singh Paul, pediatrician, founder and director of Kalawati Saran Children's Hospital, New Delhi, pioneer in polio vaccination Ruby Daniel, Israeli author of Cochin Jewish origin Yael Silliman, Baghdadi Indian Jewish author based in Kolkata Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Further reading Afridi, Navras Jot, ed., Café de Census, Issue 12, Indian Jewry, January 2015 Afridi, Navras Jot, "'Community and Belonging in Indian Jewish Literature'", Himmel South Asian ISSN 1012 May 2014 Afridi, Navras Jot Absence of Jewish Studies in India, Creating a New Awareness", Asian Jewish Life ISSN 2224-3011, Autumn 2010, pp. 31–34. Navras Jot, "...Jewish-Muslim Relations in South Asia, Where Antipathy Lives Without Jews", Asian Jewish Life ISSN 2224-3011, Issue 15, October 2014, pp. 13–16. Afridi, Navras Jot, The Attitudes of Lucknow's Muslims Towards Jews, Israel and Zionism, Café de Census, ISSN 2373 177X, Issue 7, April 15, 2014. Afridi, Navras Jot, History of India's Jewish Beauty Queens, Yediath Aranath, August 3, 2013. Afridi, Navras Jot, Hindi novel portrays life of Indian Jews. Yediath Aranath, May 23, 2013 India's Bene Israel, A Comprehensive Inquiry and Sourcebook Eisenberg, Shirley Berry, Berkeley, Judah L. Magnus Museum, 1988 
Indian Jewish Heritage, Ritual, Art and Life Cycle Dr. Shalva Weil ed. Mumbai, Marg Publications, 3rd ed. 2009 Indo-Judaic Studies in the 21st Century, A Perspective from the Margin, Katz N., Chakravarti, R., Sinha, B. M. and Weil, S., New York and Basingstoke, England, Palgrave Macmillan. 2007 Karmic Passages, Israeli Scholarship on India, Shulman, D. and Weil, S. New Delhi, Oxford University Press. 2008 The Last Jews of Kerala, Edna Fernandez, Portobello Books, ISBN 978 1 84627 Topic: External links India Encyclopedia Judaica article in encyclopedia.com Jews of India Encyclopedia of India article in encyclopedia.com The Jews of India.com comprehensive website of Jews in India Benaymanash.com Benaymanash Jews of North East India Haruth.com Jewish India Jews of India.org Jews of India In Jews com Indian synagogues in Israel Indian Jews – Jewish Encyclopedia Bene Israel – Jewish Encyclopedia Cochin Jews – Jewish Encyclopedia Calcutta Jews – Jewish Encyclopedia India Virtual Jewish History Tour – Jewish Virtual Library Information on Synagogues in Kerala, India <laughs>